This is the Toshiba Z770 4K TV that we got our hands on, and this is the highest end of the Toshiba 4K TVs. So before we begin, here's everything you need to know about this TV. It's a 65 inch 4K 120 Hertz TV that has super thin bezels and the overall design has an elegant touch to it. It supports features like HDR10+, Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Atmos and IMAX enhanced to give you immersive audio and video experience which are fine tuned and designed in Japan. And because the FIFA World Cup 2022 is just around the corner, what better way to test these features out than to play FIFA 2023. So I'm going to be playing on my PS5 just to make sure I can take maximum advantage of whatever this TV is giving me including HDR and the high refresh rates when I play other games. At first glance, the game looks absolutely incredible on here, especially when you activate the football mode. The colors are great, which is probably all thanks to the quantum dot panel being used by this TV. Viewing angles are also really great because the PS5 supports HDR and it adds to the overall visual immersion. Honestly, when I first turned this TV on, I was quite surprised by how bright it actually is. So the HDR that you get out of this is going to be very, very immersive. Driving all the features above is the powerful Regza Engine 4K Pro processor, which is doing all of the heavy lifting. And since we're approaching football season, you've got the World Cup this year, this TV comes with a dedicated football mode that I mentioned earlier. With this football mode, it cleans up the image of ghosting, restores grass textures, and makes the lighting feel a lot more like you're actually there in the crowd watching that football match. Okay, visuals aside, the Z770 has an impressive sound system as well. It comes with a 25 watt two-way direct speaker positioned in the front of the TV, also known as the front firing speaker. Additionally, it also has a quad passive bazooka based woofer for great all around sound, so you definitely don't need to add on a sound system or even a sound bar. Don't take my word for it, listen to this quick audio sample I recorded with this team. Anywhere in the football world, my name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I was blown away by the quality, especially when you score a goal and the crowd goes crazy and starts cheering, you actually feel that vibrato and the vibration in your chest thanks to that subwoofer as well. Definitely makes you feel like you're in the action. Now, the TV has a brightness of a thousand nits, so placing it even near a window with light coming in through is not going to disturb you at all. The viewing experience stays same across the board, it gets super bright, especially in games like Red Dead Redemption that I was playing, I really felt that immersion thanks to the HDR. While the FIFA games might not be able to take advantage of the 120Hz on here, there are other games that I tried out on this as well that go up to 120 hertz, which includes Call of Duty and the new Modern Warfare 2 that I tested out on here. Absolutely amazing. It's super smooth. Everything felt perfect when I was gaming on here. No ghosting, no issues with that whatsoever. You can see that the resolution I was outputting is 4K at 120 hertz. Felt absolutely brilliant. Almost felt like I was playing on a PC, which is crazy. Again, while I was gaming, the colors were really good and the local dimming showed the best result here, making contrast fantastic in the darker areas of the game, whether I was playing Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, or even UFC. Speaking of gaming, when I'm connected with my PS5, obviously the TV activates the game mode, which you can toggle on and off, both for HDR, which allows more of a low latency mode, which is great for those of you who like playing competitive games where your input is registered exactly when you press a button. Not only that, the TV also comes with AMD FreeSync Premium. But again, the best part of it all is that this is still an Android TV. It's still a smart TV, so you get access to all of the Google Play Store applications, Chromecast, YouTube, Netflix, whatever you want, including Product Nation videos. So subscribe and like below. Then of course you have the remote which has access to pretty much everything you'd need at your fingertips, including Netflix shortcuts, YouTube, Amazon Prime, whatever you wanna watch can be accessed right on there. You also get a Hey Google button on the remote so you can easily tell the remote what to do. But if using a remote control is really not your thing, this TV has a far field voice mic which allows you to control the TV via Google Voice Search. Toshiba has put in a lot of thought for different room environments, especially for those of you who like a lot of natural light coming into your room, and has equipped this TV with a low light reflective screen and non-glare panels, which give you a clear view anytime, 
any day. All of this is further enhanced by Toshiba's Eye Care Blue technology, which reduces blue light emissions and flickering images, which could damage your eyes and also helps reduce eye fatigue. So all in all, if you're a sports enthusiast, especially for football, this is definitely an amazing TV for you. I mean, think about it. It actually has a mode called football mode, which means that it's actually tuned for fans that enjoy a lot of football content or even watching games live, including the World Cup that's coming up. Watch it on this TV. Get it. Link below. So for me personally, I use it a lot to watch Netflix and game on. I had a great time playing FIFA on here, playing Call of Duty on here and playing UFC or whatever, especially Red Dead Redemption. Thanks to that HDR, it just looked absolutely beautiful on here. So coupling it with the sound quality on here, definitely one of the best sounding TVs I've personally ever tried. So that's it. This has been Omar for Prognition. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Do consider subscribing for more content just like this and I'll be seeing you again in the next video. Until then.